Hello world of the internet, my name is Simon Miller and somehow I'm sat here with international cricket sensation Monty Panasar. My life is weird. How are you doing today, Monty? I'm kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit scared because I'm thinking I'm with a professional wrestler who... <laughs> yeah, you should um, be scared. Yeah, I, well, not really. <laughs> I, I, I try to just give the viewers that you are a scary guy, but you're not. You're like a nice, friendly well, giant. The thing is, they already know this. They know it's all a ruse. And they know the only reason I actually go to the gym is so people think that I'm big and scary, but actually deep down, I'm a massive wuss. Like a massive, massive wuss. Because this is the thing. We're going to talk about your cricket career, obviously. But you are a massive wrestling fan. Yes, I was. When I was uh, a youngster, uh, my favourite wrestler was Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. And um, even... You know, when he does his tombstone and like Jake the Snake was another one I used to love. Ultimate Warrior, obviously everyone loved Ultimate Warrior. Then we had like Macho Man, Randy <laughs> Savage. So, you know, that was really good. Hulk Hogan, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you oh, know, man. two by four. I was always used to think, how does he chuck it so hard and still catch it? <laughs> yeah, he did. And he did used to do all of that. And, and I, I wasn't great at catching, so maybe I should have asked him for a tip. <laughs> you could have done. You could have sent him a message. Look, I'm trying to work on this. So, I mean... When so you love it when you're a kid. I, I saw in your book as well. I'm gonna say that out there, right there. Monty's book is out. Is out now. I think it's out now, right? Yeah, it's been out uh, during the World Cup, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. Yeah. Yeah, he talks about wrestling in that. And you, the cool thing I thought when I was reading it is I love the fact you talked about the sticker collections because I'm pretty sure in the sort of you know the 80s and the 90s the reason that World Wrestling Federation stayed alive was because people like you and I just spent all our money on wrestling stickers and then got doubles and was like, oh, this is rubbish. I want to finish my book. Yeah, because I, I I used to remember when I. I was a youngster, I should just quickly go into my dad's um, you know, trouser pocket, nick, nick, <laughs> nick five pounds, and then go to the news agents, get all my stickers. And I kept on doing that all the time. And I, I don't think he realized, I think I reckon I nicked about 100 pounds then. <laughs> That's a lot of money. It's like a thousand pounds right now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Got all my sticker collections and, you know, during lunchtime, you know, oh, I, I, need the, I need the silver sticker with the, you know, the, course, the, the yeah. badge of it. That's I used to be like worth two stickers. That's com right. Compared to the other ones. It's got its so. own economy. Did you ever yeah. finish a book, though? I never finished a book, finished, ever. Yeah, I did finish the books. Do you, do you yeah, know, it's yeah. worth a lot of money now. Just sort of throw it out there. Really? If some finished sticker books in WWF, depending on what year, yeah. you get a pretty penny for them on the old eBay. It's true. Gosh, I better find them in my loft. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, just sell some sticker books. Yeah. So, um, are you, do you know that The Undertaker is still wrestling right now as well? I always think, is that real The Undertaker or is it a different one? No, it's still The Undertaker. It's How still old is going. It? it must be 60 or 70 you now. This is the weird thing, right? He's only early 50s. It doesn't make any sense, right? I'm always like that. Because Hulk Hogan is now like 70 or late 60s. Ric Flair's in his 70s. Like, okay. Somehow The Undertaker is like 53 years old and you're like, I don't understand the concept of time because he's been wrestling forever, right? And yet somehow he's only in his early fifties. Yeah, either he must have been in his early tw early twenties yeah. when we like were a big fan of his, and he's still uh, going. Still and he's going. still going. He doesn't have any knees anymore. Knees don't work, <laughs> but otherwise, true. I think he's had something like seven hip operations, which goes to show wrestling isn't fake. You see, it's real. That's the other thing. I just want to. When did you find out that wrestling wasn't completely? above board let's say <laughs> it was like a couple of times I, I, I would watch it on tv and i think he actually m missed his face by a mile but why is he dropping there like he's just knocked him out it's like this it's like that and, yeah. and now you, you're on the floor and um I, I, but, but, but I, I think the slams and when they jump on each other is that still fake as well no yeah, well i mean the the way that and i think this is the best way anyone's ever put it yeah. is the finish is fake Right, that's that's the way sort of the, the pros right. say the finish is fake, but everything in between then is, you know, it's it's predetermined and it's choreographed, but it still hurts. And that's the best way I've ever heard it described. Like the finish, pile of nonsense, we make it up, but everything in between that, the moves, obviously we're trying to protect each other, but it, it really does hurt. And I can tell you firsthand, my friend. <laughs> It really, it really, really does hurt. It really, really does. When it all goes bad as well, it can go really bad. But that's the, luckily, that's in the minority and not the, the majority. Why don't now, obviously, I want to talk about your career in a second. But now that obviously you're moving away from that, why don't you become a professional wrestler? You can still do it. Everyone's doing it. Like football players are getting involved. Really? Yeah, Tyson Fury, he just did it. You know, why don't you make the jump across? So what are the fitness requirements? <laughs> well... You don't really. Do you know what? In the two, because obviously when you were watching it, that was sort of the the big guy era, as it was called. So like the Hulk Hogan's, the Ultimate War, as Undertaker's, like you know, eight foot nothing. But now it's kind of more about your character, your persona, your athleticism, and we know you've got all that. I mean, you used to be a professional sportsman, like you definitely you have all that down. Plus, you have name power. I think you could jump across. I think you could do it. I think you get booked. I think you do all right. Okay, that's something to consider. <laughs> but it's a six week program, isn't it? 
Uh, you can do that. There are courses, yeah. There's like, there's literally, there's, especially in London, there's wrestling courses. They're called beginner courses. They usually go on for about six to eight weeks, and they'll teach you how to land, how to run the ropes. Obviously, we're not, it's, it's real, uh, but you know, <laughs> to do all that kind of stuff. And then in eight weeks' time, I mean, there's more but, you have to do. But, but you but technically, how, how strong do I need to be? Go on, give me an example. What do I need to deadlift? Or what weight do I need to be? Do I need to be a lot more bigger? Well, it depends what kind of wrestler you want to be. This is the cool thing about the evolution of oh, pro so wrestling. I want to be a strong wrestler. Well, in that case, yeah, you need to deadlift a lot. I mean, well, give me. A number what, what, what would you what would you definitely think Monty that's you're in the strong category now <laughs> uh 225 kilograms Are you serious yeah, yeah that's probably what, well you have to think about it the big dudes in wrestling yeah so like Braun Strowman is probably the biggest dude in wrestling yeah. right now what, I think he's like 22 stone I don't know what that is in my kilograms but 300 deadlift oh but he used to be he used to be a world strongest man guy oh, yeah so he did right, that and then okay, he okay. see this is it he used to do world strongest man and he went oh, I don't do that anymore I want to become a wrestler See, this could be your future. You see what I'm you're saying? You're convincing me, aren't you? I want, I want you to get involved because then we can be a tag team. You see, we'll be a uh, what team called? That's right. Now you can't just throw that on me. So I don't know. Let's call it the Full Monty. <laughs> that means, I mean, that's after not... we win, we do the Full Monty. Uh, yeah, now you've gone off direction. I'm not. Is that, is that, is that not right allowed? Well, it'll around. be allowed. But have you seen wrestling fans? They're crazy, man. They were. They... <laughs> no, no one more crazy than we wrestling could fans. That. We could tag team it. We what will be our name then? We could do the full Monty, but that kind What's of... What's your uh, wrestling name? Well, I'm just Simon Miller. Because, yeah... Oh, I, you must I got have a Simon Miller... Well, I, so my catchphrase yeah. is, is why, here's what... We, this is a long story. What is it? But yeah, so I've got a video series. Yeah. Hello, people. It's called the Why Series. Yeah. Where I... So it was about wrestling topics. And you'd yeah. ask... You'd, you'd say something like, why is the Undertaker the greatest... Sorry, the Undertaker is the greatest wrestler of all time. Why? Here's why. It's just something stupid I started to do. So you're like Simon Miller, Why? So I'm rid of the Y guy, I guess, yeah. yeah. Well, that is boring. Guys, if you're listening, please change his name. He's right. Look, I didn't mean this. It was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to happen. It was a massive accident. It's like my Twitter handle. Why? Hand. Hulk Hogan. What? He's Randy Savage. <laughs> Why? It's true. Dude, it worked, man. It's written on the like back of my... Randy other... Savage, macho man. Now, that sounds all right. But if you say, Randy Savage. Why? Yeah, it just I'm... doesn't got the catch. Look, it? You, I'm not... That's against why what no you're one saying. knows who Simon Miller, the wrestler, is. You got that's your catchphrase well, wrong. That's not fair. That's not true at all. That's, <laughs> that is, it's, 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 they know who I am, man. <laughs> they know who I am. Uh, right, let's talk about your, your cricket yeah, career yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you're loving wrestling as a kid. Yeah. When does cricket kind of come into things? Or it's just one of those things that... Because it happens sometimes, isn't yeah, it? You just... I remember during you know my younger days when I was five to ten, me and my brother used to do wrestling moves on each other. <laughs> Like chuck, I'll chuck him up, push, and it'll be on the bed because it's like you know cushioning. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there'll be times where like I'll do the you know the knee on him, and, and I remember doing it a couple of times, and like I went blue and he went blue. I was like, hang on a minute, not good, yeah, this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. But we used to do the DDT, Tombstone, everything, right? <laughs> do all the like wrestling moves on each other. So we we loved wrestling when we were young, and I remember my sort of um, you know a couple of my mom, my mom's brothers who are like who live in India. They, they they could not believe that a human can actually look like this big muscular <laughs> like because they've never seen it you know India is obviously now much more advanced you know 25 years ago you know fitness sport wasn't a big thing and mm. now you know they've got actually a wrestler from India uh, do, yeah, yeah. yeah Jinder Mahal yeah, right? he's, he's, like he's big and jacked yeah yeah so um, it's funny how you know with the evolution how, how you know t t things change but back then you know when I was a five ten year old I was like. Do people really exist like this as human beings? I go, yeah, there's a big guys and they're all from America. You know, they're big, big, strong American, um, you know, wrestlers. And um, it was just, when we first watched it, we thought, I can't believe this is, they're really doing it. And then you realise it was actually a bit of a fake thing. But for them to even do that, you know, orchestrate it and make it look so real, you know, is, is what, you know, used to love. And I used to, I used to get up in the morning. I was thinking, right, January, I used to never miss Royal Rumble. That used to be my <laughs> yeah, favourite. Still there, man. To Everyone's in there. It's like, who's going to win and all that. And WrestleMania, I used to watch a lot of WrestleMania. Brett the Hitman Hart, you know, Shawn Michaels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legion of Doom, Bushwhackers from oh, New man. Zealand, yeah. you know. Used to lick people's heads. <laughs> yeah. Could not get away with that now in 2019. Exactly. If you lick someone's head, they're going to be mad. I know, and then there's um, who's who's Brett the Hitman Hart was that that guy with the beard like that. Oh, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Yeah, <laughs> the Heart Foundation. Dude, this is good knowledge. Look, look how far I'm going. Shawn Michaels, Jake the Snake. We got Hulk Hogan. We got Undertaker, who is my favourite. Yeah. Um, then we had the Bushwhacker Legion of Doom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, I mean, sadly, a lot of these people are now dead. That's the only thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. And not because they got old. That's the only problem with it's old. Because, uh, 
like steroids and everything. It has a number of things. A lot of wrestlers from that era had plenty of issues, I think, that never really got washed yeah, out of their yeah. system. And life always catches up to you, right? But no, th that was the golden age of wrestling, many people say. Yeah. Um, did you, did, were you invested when the Attitude Era came along with like Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock? Because that's when it blew up again. See, or by I, that point I, I, where I you moved on. I never flowed much of The Rock, but now I follow a lot. You know, of course, yeah, what The Rock does and, and everything. But what I love about The Rock is um, his 4 a.m. gym. That's the bit that attracted me the most. Not his movies, not anything else. It's his commitment mm. to how hard you have to work. He's showing the world that while well, everyone is asleep at four o'clock, I'm up in the gym yeah. because I may be at the Oscars presenting an award to Kevin Hart because his co-partner. Yeah, They've yeah, just yeah. won Jumanji again, you know, the best movie. And next morning, he no drink, four o'clock, he's in the gym. Yeah. And that's the, that was the bit that really, you know, like there's, a, there's something that catches you about one person. And that's what he's done for The Rock for me. I even got one of his trainers. I ordered his trainers. It's 120 pounds. Oh, the Under Armour stuff. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. With, with, the, with the logo yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, like, you know, if we can get this video to rock, right? I want him to listen to this. I'm like, yeah, overpriced, firstly. Secondly, that badge is, is valuable. I only got it because it's just, you know, you, you know, like they say, if you want to be successful in life, copy, copy people. Like, I, I literally like, oh, yeah, he's like my idol now. You know, what he's achieved and yeah. how he's done it. And it was just, it started off that four o'clock in the morning, he goes to the gym. Do you know when he travels around as well, he literally takes a gym with him. Yeah. He flies his gym around the world, like all the weights, all the cardio machines, and they just build up a little tent wherever he's filming and he uses that for his gym. Exactly, and that's his commitment, mm. you know. Well, this surprises me because you're saying like you're amazed by his commitment, his dedication, yeah. but you must have done that too. You, no. yeah, yeah, you, maybe, how did you not? You reached the pinnacle of the sport that you chose to get. That's not easy. Listen, when the alarm rang at four, <laughs> I'll put it on snooze, <laughs> right? And that's the difference. Right. He doesn't put it on snooze, yeah. right? And that's why he's so successful. And th that bit, you know, this one thing that catches you about each person, right? Like about you is like, why? It's like, we need to get rid of that name. Why? That's why I like this guy. Because he couldn't think of a name. He just called himself built, Simon Miller. Why? I, With a question mark. Yeah, is, I built is, my that whole, your, is that on your shorts? Oh, yeah, Where you know it? it. You know it. And people chant why. They chant why, see? You're dissing <laughs> it, but people chant it, man. Simon. Why? No, no. Simon. Just chant why. why. Just the why. Why? Yeah, yeah. Does it go? Why? Why? Can do if you want it to. Yeah, yeah you go, that, can go if you want. Then? What's the chant? Just go, why? why? Just go, why? Why? And you why? slap your head. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. That's a real thing that happens. <laughs> that is this, it is. And that is why I if love I, wrestling. <laughs> Simon, if I come out and I'm in the... I want to be in the spectators watching you come out and you're like doing all the big act. Yeah. And it's, why? Yeah. Why? It's a thing. That is funny. Oh, yeah. I'm it's gonna ridiculous. Have a, I'm going to have a massive sign. I'm going to have a t-shirt with Y on it. See, look, it's working already. Point. See, what you're buying into point. it. It's almost like it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> it See, is. I'm smart. Like The Rock's movies. See, so bad. <laughs> They're good. That's a joke, Rock. If you ever watch this, you won't ever watch this. But, but honestly, right. like you talked about, you know, The Rock. Like, this is really good. It, uh, this is the bad. This is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. That someone's got a nickname called Y. Mm. It's so bad that you actually go out. I would actually go out wear a t-shirt with Y on it. Oh, I've got t-shirts that say Y on it. Oh uh, yeah, go on. I would go and wear it. Yeah. I'm going to send you one now. <laughs> You're going to get this random package. <laughs> it's and so it's... bad your name that I would wear it. Exactly. That's... <laughs> see, that's how it works. You see. You're clever, that's... aren't you? I'm very you well. No. Way. Oh, you're not clever. You're just dumb. No, I'm dumb, and oh, I managed right, to right. pull it off. That's, that's, oh, that's right. all. Yeah, that's all it was. That's all it oh, was. Oh, I see. So your dad's got all the brain cells. You were the dumb one. Yeah, right. Ab got absolutely. Got just for the record, right. my father is sat just over here. <laughs> Otherwise, people be like, "Why on earth did Simon and his dad his just?" His ego get... is like he can't get out of the room now. Yeah. He's loving this. He's loving it. He's like, keep going, keep saying this kind of stuff. I was like, all right. Yeah. Okay. I do. I do. I do. I do uh, before we have to wrap this up, I do desperately want to know yeah. how you go from kneeing your brother in the head in your bedroom and dropping in with DDTs to becoming an incredible successful cricketer. That's an amazing transformation I, I, right I, there I, for me. Yeah, I think the introduction was my dad, one of my dad's best mates, Hitu Nayak, who ran um, a morning cricket session at Luton Town and Indians. And my dad, like, you know, at the age of 10, he goes like, these guys are getting a bit podgy, they're getting a bit fat. And he goes like, just go and just run off a couple of miles, play a bit of cricket. But he never thought in his wildest dreams, like my dad, he never thought that, oh, these guys will become professional cricketers. Right. And I remember even like my dad, when I um, got my driving license, I go, oh, dad, I passed my driving license. No, son, give me the certificate. Let me see. I do not believe you. You cannot be successful in life. Wow. You know, I, I cannot believe God entered you on this earth. I do not back you in anything. And that was the, that was the crazy thing about my dad. He just gave me the space 
to go and develop it because he trusted in in these people. So like Hitu Naik was like my cricket father, if you say mm. it. All right, drop him off. I don't know, I've got anything to do with it. I'm going to go and do it. And, and, and that, I think, I sort of thank my dad for being like that, you know, because I know some parents, when, I, when they're coaching, they're so involved in their child's progress because the attachment and the love is so close that my father was completely the opposite. He was like, this guy's useless. He can't even pass a driving license. <laughs> Nothing like that. Got a catchphrase called why? Just rubbish yeah, on around. Why? And then, and, then, and, then, and then another moment happened was when he first came, he watched me first time, you know, at Lord's. And he just sat there and his, one of his mates sat next to him and uh, my dad goes, what is this noise all about? Why everyone's chanting? And it was me coming on to bowl. Amazing. And for him, he, that was his surreal moment. He was like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy who, who I thought was a, a waste of space and like, you know, not good at anything, actually has become, you know, a professional cricketer. And it was, you know, everyone has like a, a, a father-son relationship that, you know, that works. And what worked with my father was was completely that, that he allowed me that that that, that freedom to do whatever I need to do and trusted the, the teachers in that field. Yeah. And I thank him, you know, for that because also I, I don't think I would have become a professional cricketer if you never introduced me to Hitu Nayak. Yeah, absolutely. And were you, was it a natural thing? Did you turn up day one? You're like, I've got this. Or did you have to work at it? I used to hate turning up. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Of course you did. I was like, I got two rounds and I was like, oh, I don't like cricket at all. But my dad's best friend, he, um, he, it was his passion, his goal. Like your goal is you want to do tag team with me? Like I've got no interest. So it's a brand we'll, new goal for me, but yes, yeah. 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 We'll end up being on WWE now, <laughs> course, <yeah>. right? <laughs> Taking on like Tyson Fury. And I was like, listen, Tyson, you need to understand one thing. When you land that punch, make sure it's a fake one. Because we will be knocked we'll, out. We'll, we'll die. We'll, be we'll die. die. Yeah, we'll die. Right? We've got to give him strict instructions. Um, but, and, and and that's how things happen, right? And and that's what happened, you know, with, uh, obviously, when my dad introduced me to cricket, he just thought of it like that. But his passion was, I want to make someone a professional cricketer and play for England. And that was his dream. And that's all it was. He goes, I want just one game. He didn't know that this crazy guy called Monty Panessa <laughs> will end up having this Monty mania, whole yeah, of world exactly, yeah. and, and, you know, beards and everything. And, you know, this recognizable figure now, you know, so now I can't even like shave or cut my hair because like no one would go crazy, me. right? No one would get mad. Me. <laughs> yeah. I said this was an identity. Yeah. But my parents always wanted to be me like a, you know, a Sikh, you know, sort of Sikh figure anyway. So this beard, this everything, you know, it's, it's, it's an image now. So we've got to stick to it and Absolutely. let's take this image into wrestling now. That, and there we go. And on that note, what a way to finish what, up. What would be my move? Your finishing move. I think it has to be the tombstone. Well, it has to be. You need to give it a cricket-esque name, though. That's the thing that every sportsman that jumps the in. The Monty Sizzler. The Monty. You don't even need me. Why am I even here? Like this, you've got this all down. Uh, he he needs me because I need to change his name. Why? Well, can you just like send me a new idea? No, guys, if you're listening to this, please give us some names. Should he should he be Simon Miller? Why? Because it really works. Because if this went to WWE, just imagine Simon Miller and he's facing The Rock right now. Simon Miller entrance before The Rock. Simon Miller, the why? Now, does that really make sense? Uh, I will counter that by saying, why? somehow in this scenario, I'm wrestling The Rock in WWE. I've yeah. done very well for myself. <laughs> I'm a massive success. So there's no way the why thing didn't work. It got me into <laughs> WWE against The Rock. Well, yeah, that's one point. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, that's actually, yeah, let's leave it to why. Done, we're done with that. Monty, yeah. thanks so much for your time. His book is out now. It is called The Full Monty, obviously, yeah. which is now our tag team now name as well, which is good to know. It could be The Full Monty. It could be. It to be The Full Monty. It's going to well. be The Full Monty now. We'll end up being like, you know, e evening sort of, let's leave the evening activities because this is like PG as well, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, yeah we'll, <laughs> we'll end up doing that as well. Okay, well, on side, yeah. make more money. Yeah. Monty Panasar, lovely to meet you. You thanks. take care. I'll see you soon. Cheers.